Mr. Ed here. Today is July 21st, 2018. This morning I'm in Enon, Louisiana. I'm about 30 miles from the Abbey. And today we're looking at trees, bees, and a dead old tree right here. That thing is really hollow. So the homeowner contacted me and um, asked if I could come get the trees. They said they'd wait till we, uh, till I got here to cut the tree so we can get the bees. And uh, so that's what I'm here today for, to uh, get these bees. When that uh, tree hits the ground, the bees are going to be going up in the air. And it's really just a little time before bees either take off or just stay here and die. So either way, these bees got to come back with me. So by the grace of God, that's what's exactly what's going to happen. These bees are coming back up to the Abbey with me um, either today or tomorrow. Let's wrangle. All right, before that tree comes down, let me uh, show you where these bees are located in the tree. They're up pretty high. Let's see if that camera will zoom in on them for you. They're in that opening right there. Let's see if I can go a little closer. There you go. Now we can see some of them bees. Like I said, they're up there pretty high. And I kind of think that when that tree hits the ground, it's just going to shatter these guys and open it up. And we'll just move in real quick because uh, I, don't, I don't want this to be a prolonged adventure. These poor bees have no idea that Armageddon is a-coming. Well, here's what it looks like uh, after it hit the ground. The uh, log did not open up like I was kind of hoping to. Uh, so I'm going to have to cut it off and um, get it to the ground and cut it open at that point. Uh, let me grab the camera and show you uh, a little closer up of, uh, of the bees and the comb and all that kind of stuff. Well, here, here's the end of it. And it's all honey up in here at this end of it and uh, it goes down just a little further to where you can see the, the bees at the entrance right there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that log and just roll it on the ground and open it up and uh, that's the only way we're gonna be able to access these girls all right let me get a picture of the bees in that hole well here they are and these girls, as you can quite understand, are not happy. Now, let's not prolong your agony. Let's try to get them moved into this box as quick as we can. Now that I got the hive, the log rolled away from the tree, the whole hive now is exposed and you can see it. There you go. Look at that. It's 
so it didn't look like any of our comb fell. I've been pulling a bunch of honey um, comb from the from the other end of this log, um, and thankfully, uh, it's it's the, the the honey will be dripping away from the comb instead of onto the comb. So now I'm getting ready to uh, actually start to uh, split this log in half so that I can then uh, start removing uh, this comb, uh, make it a little bit easier for me to um, to access it. All right, let's um, go ahead and do that part. And here are our bees. As you can see, this comb is soaking wet. And therefore, not any of it is going into our pod. Now, I will show you this in, in our box. I've got either five, I think five frames of comb with honey in it. It's all, all drawn out comb. And I'm gonna push these bees right here right into this box yeah i'll be looking for the queen too and they got this side over here this half over here i'm not keeping any of this wax for these bees it is soaking wet and i can tell you within a day they'll have maggots in it so we are not gonna do that to these bees but very little sawdust got in it so i'll be able to salvage the wax at least to melt it down i see very little brood in here I see some. Yeah, I see some now. All right, let's see if we can push some bees into our box. Look! Oh, yeah, Sheila from our, our bee club. She came out here. She lives out here in, in uh, Enon. And she came out here to, to, to give me a hand with this. So thank you, Sheila. You're welcome. Sheila did see the queen, and I thought I saw her too, but she was in a mass of them. We didn't get her. But look, you can see they got a little march going on here in the corner. So I'm going to just keep on pushing the bees, see if we can uh, flush that queen out one more time. There she is, right here. Get the cage. The cage is over there on Wait. the tree. On the tree. No, it's right here. Right here. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Look at that, folks. Wow. That wasn't the queen that I thought I saw before. She was on the other side besides. So we got the queen, so we're gonna put her now on the top of the box. And uh, this thing ought to be a done deal after that. All right, let's see what happens. 
Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> well, we're about done here. Uh, I've got the queen caged up. Uh, she's in the cage up in the front, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take the top off and pull out one of the frames and turn the queen loose on it um, and then put this whole box back together and leave the box here. So let's go ahead and do that right now. There really are a lot of bees in this box, surprisingly. After I turn the queen loose, I'll show them to you. There, there really are a lot of bees in here. Now, what I did in the box, like I said earlier, there's um, 10 frames of old comb, um, and five of them have drawn out, uh, uh, well, it's all drawn out, but five of them have, have honey on them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that queen out right now, and I'm going to re release her on one of those frames that have honey, and then drop her back into the, the box. Now, I'm not concerned that that queen's going to fly off, because she's she's laying there I, there was some nice brood in that box but it was covered with um honey it was all wet and there were beetles so she she not there was no comb that got in here so these are some of the frames this is what the frames that are in here that look like with the honey and then just some open uh area for her to, to start laying and she will start laying and so here's that queen right here shake these guys off And there's our queen, and we're going to open her up and set her on the comb. She still doesn't want to come out. There she goes. So here she is. She's right here. I hope you all can see that. I can't see it, but she's right there in the middle. She's got in the middle. She's got her tenders going all around her. So we're going to go ahead and drop her right into the box and um, close this thing up. So by putting our queen in the box now, in the hive, that's going to finish drawing all these bees uh, up inside. Uh, instead of being on the front, they, they weren't still going into the hive, but now they'll go into the hive. All right, well, that's all I've got for you in this one. So, uh, Sheila, thank you for coming out and helping. Um, and that's all I've got for you. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching. I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out of here until the next video. I almost forgot to show you the bees. <laughs> I'm so ready to get out here. It's hot and I'm, I'm ready to go. So here's here's all the bees on the frames. I mean, this is a really, really nice hive. Very nice hive. And I'll give y'all an update on it because it's going to be a couple of weeks before this video gets posted anyway. So I'll be able to give y'all a, a current update on it. Where's your camera? I didn't bring my camera. I brought my wallet and a tent and a change of clothes because I'm going to camp out at the gift shop so when, you, <laughs> when this stuff does go on the market I'm gonna buy it out take it back to Mississippi and resell it <laughs>